Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss YouTube star PewDiePie's car collection. Let's get right into it. Felix Arvid Ulf Kelberg, better known online as PewDiePie, is a Swedish YouTuber best known for his Let's Play videos and comic structured videos and shows. Kelberg has become one of the most well known online celebrities and content providers thanks to his popularity on YouTube and widespread media coverage. In the media, he has been characterized as a YouTube figurehead and as being practically synonymous with YouTube gaming. He was named one of the world's 100 most influential people by Time Magazine in 2016. With such a large sum of money, what type of car does he drive? Number 1. Mini Convertible Driving with the roof down instantly makes life feel new and thrilling. It's the pure joy and intensity of living your life the way you've always wanted to. In the Mini Convertible, it's time to get some vitamin D and take in some fresh air. PewDiePie purchased this automobile in 2015 when his YouTube channel had only 40 million members. He claims to drive the Mini frequently and enjoys long drives about Brighton in it. The 182 bhp turbocharged petrol engine can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.2 seconds. The pricing of the Mini Convertible is estimated to be around $31,900. The roof swings back to let up to 40 centimeters of light stream in, and the soft top has three settings, including Mini Signature Sunroof Mode. For year-round driving enjoyment and improved acoustic insulation, a premium liner and heated glass rear window are included. The Mini Convertible has more legroom, a luggage pass-through to the boot and rear seats that fold down. With the roof closed, Mini's easy load system increases the size of the luggage compartment by raising the soft top frame above the compartment hatch. The open tailgate can then support up to 80 kilograms and be used as a surface for storing luggage. Comfort access keyless entry, an alarm system, and automatic anti-dazzle interior and exterior mirrors are included. The ultrasonic front and rear park assist, which works in tandem with the high-resolution rear-view camera, makes quick work of tight spots. Number 2. Porsche 911 The second entry on this list is a Porsche 911. When PewDiePie first showed off his Porsche, he parked it in his driveway. This automobile boasts exceptional performance in all weather conditions, an unparalleled driving experience, and a variety of fantastic powertrain options. For those who can afford it, the Porsche 911 remains the perfect sports vehicle. Porsche AG of Stuttgart, Germany introduced the Porsche 911 in September 1964 as a two-door, two-plus-two high-performance rear-engine sports car. It was built with a torsion bar suspension and a rear-mounted flat-six engine. Throughout the years, the car has been improved upon, but the core concept has stayed the same. Until the 996 series, which debuted in 1998, the engines were air-cooled. The Porsche 911 was created to replace the 356, the company's original model, with a more powerful, larger, and more comfortable car. The 911's initial models had a rear-mounted 130 horsepower, 97 kilowatt, Type 901-01 flat-six engine, which was air-cooled and displaced 1,991cc 2.0 liter versus the 365's four-cylinder 1,582cc 1.6 liter unit. Number three, Nissan Micra. If you were to ask PewDiePie what automobile he drives, he'd say this Japanese beauty. This car was featured in his "My New Car" video which was released amid a slew of YouTubers exhibiting their numerous exotic and pricey automobiles. PewDiePie felt revealing what appears to be a primitive Nissan Micro would be amusing as a joke. The Micro's low fuel consumption was due to a specifically engineered engine that was solely utilized in the Micro, unusually high gearing and low weight of only 630 kg, 1,389 pounds, in early European trim. Because of the low weight aim, early Micros had very little insulation, which made them rather noisy. Micros' first engine was an all-aluminum MA-10S SOHC engine that was exceptionally refined. In the high compression variant combined with the 5-speed gearbox, European market automobiles produced 50 PS or 55 PS, 40 kW, 54 HP. It came with a 4-speed, 5-speed or automatic transmission dubbed Nissanmatic. At the time, a Super Mini with both an automatic and a 5-speed manual transmission was unique. Number 4. Volvo XC90 This SUV was purchased by PewDiePie in 2017, and it's easy to understand why. PewDiePie frequently posts on Instagram, where he shows off the interior of his Volvo and his cute dog Edgar. The XC90 isn't the most fun to drive, but it's opulent, and the plug-in hybrid is lightning fast. The front end of the Volvo XC90 is designed to absorb frontal hits, while also deflecting pedestrians up onto the vehicle's bonnet rather than below it. Volvo has a proprietary frontal structure with crumple zones and predefined placements for the engine and other ancillaries in the event of a frontal collision. In the case of a rollover, the XC90's roof is strengthened with ultra-high strength steel to assist prevent the passenger compartment from collapsing. This Volvo system 
known as ROPS, works in tandem with Volvo's Roll Stability Control, RSC, Electronic Stability Control, DSTC, and SIPS system to prevent and reduce accident forces. The 2013 XC90 has a rollover risk of 17.9%, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. 0.77G of sideways thrust is the greatest. The rear structure of the Volvo XC90 is designed to absorb impact energy and the occupants are also protected by a whiplash safety system. In a rear-end accident, the whip system cradles the occupants. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.